One of the things is, I, I do a radio show, and th this was an incredible education to me. I do a radio show on, on Radio 4 called The Infinite Monkey Cage, and uh, I present it with a man called Professor Brian Cox, uh, who is the sexy face of particle physics. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's this one. It's lovely. Um, <laughs> He's very good at pointing. No one points and says things are lovely better than him, right? He's, uh, I used to actually do quite a good in person. Now I've basically turned him into Orville from Keith Harrison. <laughs> I wish I could fly faster than the speed of light, but I can't. You're right, you can't. It would break all the laws. Oh, Keith, I wish I was a neutrino. Anyway, so... But yeah, so we do this show, right? And, and I, I'm very lucky. I get the chance to meet scientists and, and discuss ideas, which I find so almost beyond my comprehension and frequently so they are beyond my comprehension. But so I was then amazed that once we started doing it, the kind of complaints you get. And people seem to have this fear. Science is kind of just a subject to them and it's just one of the ways of thinking about the world. And like th this, I think, sums it up in one way. Um, the first um, complaint we got, right? This, this, we got 20 complaints against the infinite monkey cage. Uh, two months before we'd even recorded an infinite monkey cage, right? Two months before we knew what was in the infinite monkey cage, people were furious about what was in the infinite monkey cage, right? And I'll explain a little bit, right? First of all, the title. The reason it's called the infinite monkey cage is because the BBC wanted to call it Top Geek. So that's why it's called the infinite monkey cage, because <laughs> we felt that wasn't really what we were looking for as an angle. The idea of lots of men in tight jeans just going, look at this particle accelerator! She's a beauty! Let's have a look at the board there. Jimmy Carr currently has the record for fastest particle round the accelerator. But I reckon Ranulf Fine, look at it, it's a red one. Uh, there we go, the particle accelerator, something goes under France. Something racist here. And so... <laughs> So we didn't want to call it that. That's why we didn't call it. So Infinite Monkey Cage was a stupid idea I had. So the first letter we get, as I said, two months before we even record a show, it's just sort of we went, well done, Radio 4. But they didn't mean well done, right? <laughs> it was in a really sarcastic font, right? 